What's going on? In this video, I want to address a topic real quick. So, there's all these like videos on TikTok where people are talking about the manipulative ways men act and behave when it pertains to the people that they're supposedly dating. Notice I said people because everybody's not heterosexual. Everybody's not cisgender. So these are men who are dating women, other men, cisgendered, intersex, trans, what have you. And in all situations, the common scenario is the man being manipulative and straight up not really liking you, but you know, they're gaining something from you. So they're keeping you around for the time being. So here's what I have to say towards that, because I've been through it. I've gone through it. Um, speaking from an intersex trans man perspective, arguably most men, we know what we want. We know what we don't want. We know what we like. So a lot of times if you're getting mixed signals from a guy, nine times out of 10, he doesn't really like you as much as he's saying. His actions don't align with that. And or number two, he doesn't feel like he's worthy of talking to you in the first place. So and number three, he's not. I'm just going to be honest. He's not up to your standards or you're not up to his standards. <laughs> and that's why there's a lot of, you know, back and forth uncertainty, especially when it comes to dating. I'm going to just keep it a buck. If you have been, you're wondering, you know, why he doesn't take you on dates. Um, I'm just going to call a thing a thing. If he wanted to, he would. Okay. Because at the end of the day, people do what they want to do. And they don't do what they don't want to do. And if you have to constantly beg and plead for somebody to go on dates with you or to take dates with, take you out on dates they don't want to do that with you. And a lot of times people don't want to just keep things real. So they like to go around the whole, oh, I don't know how to date. I've never been on dates. And a lot of times, let's just keep it real, guys. Men weaponize their incompetency a lot. And they do that on purpose. And they play the obtuse, you know... Um, ignorant, stupid role of I never done anything and I don't know how to do this and that. But in the same breath, they will go on YouTube and TikTok to find out things for things that they want to do. That's just it. There has to be a want. There has to be an effort. And a lot of times he doesn't have a want to do those things with you. And then also another thing that has to be brought up, and I've said this so many times, especially when it comes to the taking pictures situation. People will tell you that they're private and they like their privacy, but in the same breath, they have pictures of everything else going on in their lives, right? Like there's pictures of them with their friends. There's pictures of them by themselves. There's pictures of their house. There's pictures of their car. There's pictures of their kids, their pets. There's pictures of them doing various things but then when it comes to you, it's always the same thing. Oh, I don't really like people being in my business. I'm private. Yada, 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 yada. And at the end of the day, while that could be true, arguably, it's a bunch of bullshit. They just don't want to take a picture with you. And a lot of us get caught up in that. You know, we get caught up in this whole, well, he doesn't want to do this and he doesn't want to do that. Okay, if these are things that you want to do, then obviously he is not the one for you. And I know that's hard for a lot of us to swallow because a lot of us, we want what we want. But at the end of the day, if the thing that you want or the person that you want doesn't want you, isn't willing to meet you in the middle, isn't really, isn't willing to come halfway, you need to recognize that that's just not going to happen. And the more energy we put into chasing after people who don't want us, chasing after men who are obviously not interested, 
because I don't care what nobody says. Actions speak louder than words. You can tell a person all day that you love them. But if they don't feel like they don't feel your love, they're not really being loved. Because that's just it. Another thing about dudes, we talk a good talk. We have the gift of gab. We will run our mouths to the cows come home. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, none of our actions are aligning with any of the words that we're telling you. And that's why it's so important to pay attention to a person's actions. Again, remember, I'm private. I don't like people in my business. I don't like taking pictures. Meanwhile, I have pictures of me with other people doing other things. I have pictures of myself, but yet I'm private and I don't like taking pictures. Again, actions are not aligning with words. We all have to stop falling for that mess. You know what I'm saying? And also, once you spot all of that and you don't feel good about it and your needs aren't being met, you have to take a, you have to take accountability for your own reactions, responses, behaviors, right? Like you can't really continue to get mad at somebody for not doing something that you want them to do when you keep sticking around. I'm gonna say that again, because <laughs> I know it'd be going over some of our heads. You cannot get mad at somebody for not doing something that you want to do with them or you want them to do for you or with you and yet they keep telling you they can't do it, they won't do it, whatever it may be, yet you're still sticking around. So who's really at fault here? You're making yourself unhappy at that point because you already know in the back of your mind something is not adding up with this. And at the end of the day, sticking around in situations when your needs aren't being met, it's not, it's not a good setup. I'm gonna just keep it real. It doesn't do anything for you, but make you angry, make you mad, have you questioning yourself, have you replaying conversations. That's where the resentment and bitterness starts coming in. It's not okay, and it's unnecessary stress. It's just unnecessary stress. I cannot stress this enough. It is unnecessary stress that you do not have to do. Because again, what you're begging somebody to do when they don't want to do it, or they don't want to do it with you, or they can't do it with you, whatever reason it is, really doesn't matter. Your needs aren't being met. That's what matters. There's somebody that will do it with you, that can do it with you, that looks forward to doing it with you. And I'm all, I'm gonna leave off on this video with saying a lot of times, you ever notice, we put a lot of attention into what don't want us. Meanwhile, the people that do want us, that do like us, that do show up for us, we pay them dust. We're not even entertaining them. And they're the ones showing through their actions that they actually like you, that they actually want you. They're actually willing to come halfway. They're actually willing to meet you in the middle. Yet, what do people do? You chase after situations, places, people, and things that don't want you, that are stressing you out. And then you get on social media, you get on the phone with your friends and you complain, but what's the point of complaining about stuff if you're just gonna keep going back to the same thing? Moving into 2024, a lot of us need to look in the mirror. I'm gonna just keep it real. A lot of us need to look in the mirror and realize we are the cause of our own unhappiness. A lot of us stay in situations that we should have left a long time ago. So that's that video. More videos to come, stay tuned.